On Asia Down Under, the young architects whose friendship is reaping rewards. A community leader who's quick to front up with help when it's needed. And putting on a fantastic show, the color and grace of China's young acrobatic team. Hello and welcome to Asia Down Under. Wellington Community Housing provides low-cost homes for many families of diverse communities, 9% of which are Chinese tenants. They're encouraged to get to know one another through organized activities and events. The idea is to enrich what could be quite a lonely life. Glenna Casalme reports. It's a very special day for the Pham family. Husband Kai and his wife Min are getting ready to move into a new home. For four years, this small studio apartment in Newtown, Wellington, has been Kai's bachelor home. But now that he's married and with a baby, it's time for a change. The fams are just some of the 4,000 tenants who live in Wellington City Council's city housing. It's a large and incredibly diverse community made up of low-income families and individuals. The subsidized housing is scattered around the city and priority is given to the elderly, people with disabilities and people who are disadvantaged. 33% of the total population are migrants and refugees just like Kai who is from Vietnam. I came here in 1990. Uh, it was called uh, family reunification because my brother came here to study in the Colombo program in 1971. These are exciting times for the tenants. Three years ago, the Wellington City Council began a 20-year, $400 million upgrade project. The upgrade project is fundamentally about upgrading council's housing stock to a, a safe, secure standard that's more appropriate for modern living. So over the last decade or so, the housing stock has, has deteriorated to a, to a standard where it needed a substantial upgrade to, to, to be appropriate for modern living conditions. So how did the fans feel when they found out they were getting a new home? Oh, I'm very uh, happy, very excited. Yeah, it's a good, good place. Yeah. Their new home is just minutes away at the newly renovated Hanson Court. And they're about to see it for the very first time. Wow. Yeah, right, guys. Yeah, I love it. It's nice. It's lovely. Wow. Yeah. This unit is practically new at least twice the size of their last one, and it's got a balcony too. Mm. Yeah, lovely. But Wellington City Housing is not just about the buildings, it's about people too. At the Arlington Apartment Complex, another city housing project, tenants gather for a special afternoon. Today's event is called Bringing Health to You, sponsored by the Heart Foundation. Many residents are from the Chinese community and they're here to promote Tai Chi as a form of exercise. The Chinese Senior Community Choir also share a little bit of music. Events like these are part of City Housing's Community Action Program. The Community Action Program is really about making tenants feel at home. It's about creating a sense of spirit and pride among the tenant communities. It's about building stronger ones. It's also about um, uh, building connections and reducing social isolation. Journalist Yu Chiu Wang just moved into Arlington from the Brooklyn Apartments and is still getting used to her new community. I think the community is need people keep in touch. Yeah, even from Somalia or from China, the people need language. We are multicultural them. And nowhere is this multiculturalism more evident than in this mosaic designed by the young residents who live at the Tearaho Flats in Newtown. 
it's encouraging people to share their stories and their journeys about how they arrived with us at Te Araho and how, um, how that can be expressed creatively. So it's not just the end product, it's actually the process of engagement as well. So that brings a lot of diverse people together and they can take a journey together to, in creating this artwork. But this mosaic is not the only project that the kids of Te Araho have collaborated on. This colourful playground on the corner of Constable and Daniel Streets was designed by them as well. I think psychologically it's, uh, it's having an impact on tenants. They are proud of where they live um, and we're creating neighbourhoods that uh, they can also be a lot more connected with, with the people around them. Um, it's very isolating. In, in social housing and traditionally where, where tenants have had very little interaction or opportunity to interact with their neighbours, we're trying to improve that. So this project's very much about, as much about the people as it is about the bricks and mortar. 47% of city housing's tenant population is over the age of 50 and for them fighting isolation is an even bigger concern. Many of the elderly Chinese belong to the Chinese senior community. Next week on Asia Down Under, we report on how the association helps them assimilate and integrate into New Zealand society.